Hi VC, hope you're all good. Um, I'm in the lounge tonight, everyone's asleep upstairs and I thought I'd make a sneaky video. Um, I hope everybody is doing well in these times and uh, excuse the lockdown air, it's getting worse and worse all the time now. Hopefully there, the barbers will be open in a couple of weeks time or so, I don't know. Wales is a few weeks behind England with its decisions at the moment. Maybe for the best if you look at the scenes on Bournemouth Beach and stuff like that. Anyway, um, let's crack straight on. Uh, first up is Walkabout, John Barry soundtrack. Uh, never been issued until about a year or two years ago on the Round Table label. Um, it's a fantastic soundtrack. It's a, fun, it's a great movie. I'm, I remember watching it as a teenager uh, uh, in the summer holidays. I can remember just catching it one day. It's quite quite a sort of hallucinogenic soundtrack, really. But those lovely, beautiful strings that only John Barry could bring to to, to film scores. Really, really good stuff, and well worth getting. Nice sort of inner on it as well. The original. Uh, uh, poster for the film and things like that. So yeah, Walkabout, great, great one. I've got most of his soundtracks. I think uh, I love the Whisperers. Uh, I love uh, the piece of music to Saints on a wet afternoon, and uh, love Deadfall as well. They're all really good. Next up is Roland Kirk, uh, Left and Right. This is on Atlantic. It's pretty old. This one, some good nicks on that sort of purple label there. Really good stuff. Big band sounding album. This one different to his other stuff. I've got. We've got five of his records now, and I've been sort of listening to them for roughly about a year. I was very late to the party of Roland Kurt, but I'm glad I got there in the end. It's really good stuff. Uh, great, great, great guy, artist. Next up is the most recent issue by Yola Tango. This is the Yola Tango. This is uh, there's a riot going on. Um, I've kind of drifted away from Yola Tango a little bit. Some of their more recent albums, but this one is really up there. It's one of their best albums. Um, it's up there with. Uh, with uh, I can hear the heart beat beating this one and so on. It's really really good. Uh, side one, it's a, it's a double LP. It kind of starts off with some beautiful sort of uh, sentimental sort of pop songs really. Um, also some some drones in this and uh, all sorts going on. Really a little bit of kraut rock influence, but yeah, really really good stuff. And uh, yeah, double LP, well worth getting your hands on that. I, I I it took me about a year to buy this. I read the reviews, which were pretty good at the time actually. But I thought no, nah, I kind of had enough. I didn't want to, didn't really want to put some money on it. And I finally heard it, heard it, and I uh, thought yeah, I'm gonna have to get this. It really is fantastic. Um, next up, just switching genres completely. This is a sound system, Saxon sound system. This is a live recording of them in the early 1980s, and you've got Tipperary, Papa Levi, Daddy Rusty, and so on on it. This is a great, great uh, live recording, and it's very atmospheric. It's very difficult to get hold of this in decent nick now. They're always battered because they've been played so, so much. But this is called Coughing Up Fire. It's on the Green Sleeves label, and uh, you can see there's the label there. Um, standout MC for me is Tipper I really, I really like the guy. I think he's a fantastic uh, performer. Um, still, still cutting songs now. Um, still guesting on lots and lots of different records. One of my highlights, I'd say, is probably when he's on that, that album by The Bug, London Zoo. Uh, when that, so many things that make me angry. It's just an incredible song, that one. Really, really good. So, yeah, Coughing Up Fire. Apparently, it was uh, in schools in London, in the south of London. It was uh, in the eight, early 80s. Kids were just bringing that in on their stereos and playing them in the school yards. Um, right, uh, a, a, re, a reissue of, of an awesome single. This is uh, Errol Walker's Better Future. Um, I first heard this on the Voodooism compilation, the Lee Perry Voodooism comp on Pressure Sounds, and I had I just saw this the other day. I thought it's really fancy getting it. Incredibly uplifting, sort of driving uh, black arc sounding rhythm, and it's one of his best. That Voodooism. If you want to get into Lee Perry, just get the Voodooism compilation. It's got it's just obscure stuff, but it, every single track on there is fantastic. Next up is a uh, Congo Natty, and this is a uh, Jungle Revolution. It's a uh, it's, it's pretty old school jungle, really. Recorded a few, I think 2012, 2013, something like that. Yeah, 2013. Double LP of just brilliant, brilliant uh, jungle. Uh, really in your face. It's got Tipperary on it as well. Um, but yeah, well worth getting hold of it. This is an original pressing. Uh, you you can still get them. Uh, they used to be relatively cheap. There's a dub version of this record as well. Which I, have, which I have on the CD, but I'd like to get the vinyl of it eventually. Yeah, this is Congo Natty, uh, very righteous, in your face, jungle music, and uh, great, great stuff. Uh, next up is the Strut Records Volume 2 of Sunra Singles. I've got Volume 1 as well, uh, but this is just absolutely delightful. It's well worth getting. All of these singles are incredibly rare, uh, limited pressings, often sold at gigs. Uh, 
and going right back from the 1950s up until uh, what, 1991, so roughly around the time of, uh, of Sun Ra's passing. But yeah, really good stuff. Uh, and uh, triple LP, I'll just show you inside of it as well. You can just see what that's about. But yeah, you can pick up these CDs for about 10 quid each. These are a bit more, I mean, I think I paid 17 pound for this. They're usually a lot more though. But the CDs are only 10 or 11 quid and they're well worth getting. They're really, really entertaining. You've got like, you know, the Sun Ra that you know and love, but you also got some doo-wop on here, spoken word stuff, all kinds of things going on. Good, good stuff, enjoying that. Um, what have we got next? Uh, next up is a Soul Jazz issue uh, of the Stephen Reed album, Rhythmatism. This is a fantastic record, uh, well worth getting hold of. Uh, reviews rave about this all the time, and it's no, it's no, um, no surprise to be honest. It's really good. Um, my only bugbear, and I'm going to sound like a right old grumpy old so and so now. It's on white vinyl, never that keen on white vinyl because I find it hard to find the tracks. I think it's my eyesight, you know. But uh, yeah, well worth getting hold of this one if you can. Kind of from the same kind of thing. I think I was showing um, Message from the Tribe in the last video and uh, the Stanley Crow record as well. Kind of, you know, this is a very in your face record, but it's really, really good. Um, Next up is a record I've been after for a while. I had it on CD, and this is the film um, from the sea to the land beyond. Uh, this is Brit the band, the uh, British band, British Sea Power, and they recorded the soundtrack to it. And it's it's a delightful soundtrack. The film is totally and utterly hypnotic. It's incredible. This one is an original 2013 pressing, and there's the uh, there's that, and it came on blue vinyl. Okay, preferably to white vinyl, by the way. And also with this, you've got the the DVD of the film as well, from the land beyond the sea. There, so really, really good stuff. And last but not least, is two records by the same artist, the uh, Sharon Krauss. Uh, I put one of these on Instagram the other day, actually. This is it's, it's very sort of almost acid folky in places. This there's a lot sort of recorder on this, but it's really, really good stuff. Uh, this one's called Friends and Enemies, Lovers and Strangers. Uh, and it's produced on by a clay pipe. This is a limited edition, only 500 press. You still get this if you look around, but just have a look at the quality of it. Very sort of like Welshy sort of English sounding folk. Um, lovely inners. Nice little book that goes with it, with the lyrics. Uh, based on ancient um, ancient Welsh text as well. Um, let me get this right, the, the, the Mabgidion or something like that. I've never heard of it to be honest, but it's based on a travels around rural Wales. And I just love the artwork on the back as well. Really good stuff. This is pretty pared down. This is my favorite of the two I'm gonna show. The other one, which is pretty cool as well, is Joy's Reflection is Sorrow. This this one has got a, more of a, of, of, a, of a band behind her. Um, a bit of pedal steel and so going on in it, but it's really good as well. If I was to choose between the two, I'd definitely go for that one, just because it's in that special sort of uh, mid Wales sort of area, sort of where I where I live. But it just really reminds me of the landscapes and the, the rivers and waterfalls around here. So there we go, ten records. Uh, it's going to be the last video I make for a while now. Um, so I'm hoping to move, uh, so we won't, I won't be having the internet for a little bit and. Uh, Unless there's a plague of locusts or an asteroid strike that's going to stop us this time, we should uh, we should hopefully get out of here and uh, have a better quality of life and so on. So uh, take care, everybody. And I don't know when I'll be making my next video, but it could be quite a while now. But uh, uh, I'll be checking you guys out. So uh, anyway, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.